Hello everyone, today I have a pen, ink and watercolor tutorial for you. So we are going to sketch this. This is Xuanzang Temple located in Nantou County, which is in Taiwan. If you want to follow along, you can download the reference photo in the video description below. Let's analyze the photo first. I like the trees. The trees are not vertical, they are diagonal, which makes them look more interesting. And this is the front of the temple. Actually, the temple is behind, so the front is actually uh, there. Anyway, beautiful light and shadows on that day. We have some people here. And this temple, I say the midline is here. So this is the full height of the front. This is the midline. So I'm taking some proportions. This is one third of the whole width, one third, one third, and one third. And these lines on the sides here, they are not vertical from the photograph, but in real life, they are of course vertical. So I think I'm going to keep the keep these lines vertical in my sketch, but for the trees, I'm going to have them tilted so that we have some vertical lines and some diagonal lines. I'm going to start by marking out the proportion using this very light colored pencil just to make sure that I'm able to draw the whole temple. You may not see anything but um, there are actually lines on the, on the paper. Okay, so I'm going to fit the temple right here here. I'm going to start by drawing the left side of the temple first. So this will be the, the line here tilt slightly upwards and then go up here, goes to the side, comes down. Now this ink that I'm using, this is sketch ink which is waterproof when dry. And this is the other side. I'm going to keep this sketch very quick and loose. I just came back from Taiwan, by the way. So if you want to check out the travelog videos, you can uh, visit the links in the video description below. So for this part here, this is where the orange roof will be. So because my sketchbook is really small, I'm just going to just draw those roof like this, which is very loose and maybe scrappy. And this is the top of the temple. On the left side, again, there are those orange tiled roofs. These are the tiles. This is the height of the temple. The, it goes to the right side and the line tilts slightly upwards like this because the perspective line, um, the perspective, the vanishing point on, is on the left side. On this, we have a little bit of thickness here on the right side. And below the tiled roofs here, there are a lot of details which is very difficult for me to draw. So I may just um, draw them very lightly. I don't want them to take up too much attention. For the places where I want people to look at, I would draw with thicker lines. This is the edge of the roof. This part here, it's covered by the leaves. And we have the roof here as well. When you take uh, reference photos, do take your photo when you can see light and shadow. So usually when I'm sketching outdoors, I would uh, first of all take a reference photo if there is light and shadow before I start sketching. And we have another roof here. 
that way if the weather changes if it starts to rain later on or if there's no more sunlight you can still work on your work either at home or somewhere else based on the reference photo but of course it's best to sketch on location that's where you get the fun so notice my sketch is very loose I'm not really paying attention to the details I'm just drawing those details that I think are more important we have four small uh, see-through uh, things here and six here and here we, we need some details here as well one two three four five six these are important because uh, when painting later on you should be able to see through to the sky behind so notice uh, earlier when I was drawing I drew from the left to the right and when drawing I'm always keeping I'm always making sure that I get the proportion right like for example um, this part oh actually this part speaking of proportion my proportion is a bit off this line should be in the middle of this height here so this is actually much higher up so I got this part wrong I wonder why I uh, sometimes when I'm drawing I lose track of where I am that's where I start to make mistakes but uh, it shouldn't matter that much here so see now this is a bit it looks a bit different compared to the actual temple to the front of the temple because of where this line is and because this is pen and ink there's no way for me to correct this and here this part here it's under the shade it's very dark it's very difficult for me to see this and I can see some details below as well and usually when I pick a position to sketch for example with this particular uh, subject I would um, walk to a place where I can see the side of the structure so if I look at the structure from straight on I will not be able to see the thickness of this structure I want to see the thickness so that people can know that this structure it actually has some volume and now I can draw the trees the tree the first tree that I want to draw is this one in the background and this one here there seems to be a little gap here so I'm to draw this gap here that you can see through to the sky behind there is a person seated here so I want to draw the person there as well the perspective line here is actually going to this part here because this is where the vanishing point is so the vanishing point is somewhere around here so I can draw those lines to the vanishing point here there are some trees some bushes here and we have let me draw the biggest tree first so the biggest tree will come down like this and move like this this is not a straight line it's a curved line and we have one here and there's another tree here in the background I like this part here because you can see how the lines how they overlap that's where you can see the depth the front the foreground and the background and here you see some overlap as well this tree overlaps the bushes here and it is uh, bushes overlap this tree here I think this part is like this so when you have something like this it's going to create some confusion see which tree is in front and which one is behind so it's, um, you cannot tell just by looking at this so that's a mistake there 
for this part here this part will go to the vanishing point which is around here so the angle is like this and there is a statue here the height of the statue is uh, the head of the statue is here so I would draw the statue like this not a lot of detail because I don't have space to draw in this small sketchbook this is a tree behind and I also want to draw another tree for this tree I want to have it here closer to my temple rather than what you see in the photo I'm trying to basically squeeze the elements onto the pitch and the leaves so this sketch is pretty much uh, complete it's almost complete it's a very quick sketch when drawing on a small sheet of paper uh, like this sketchbook this is an a5 sketchbook so you can draw really quickly for the leaves of the tree I'm going to just uh, paint them later so let me just draw some additional details in the background there are some mountains in the background I'm going to paint them and use the white gel pen to draw those uh, railings later on draw some more leaves here and here branches we add some dots to the trees to create some texture the light is coming from this direction so I will put the dots on the left side to remind me where the light is coming from and add some more texture here to the roof diagonal lines to show you where the tiles are moving all right so this is the completed sketch I wish I could correct this mistake the only mistake for this sketch is the most glaring mistake is actually this line here which should be much taller this line should actually be aligned to this uh, orange roof here right here all right in the next video we are going to color this with a limited color palette video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below